Given a right angle triangle of height 89 units, the hypotenuse is not given and the base is not given. We are to find the perimeter of the right angle triangle. Perimeter is the total distance around a shape. For us to find the perimeter of this triangle, we need to know the length of the three sides and we are given just one of it. We have to find the other two. Take note, the side length must be positive integers. We will be using Pythagoras theorem to find the two unknown lengths. Pythagoras theorem states that for any right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Now, let us label the base of this triangle as A, the height as B, and the hypotenuse as C. So when we apply Pythagoras theorem, we will have A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. Let us substitute a value in it. We will have A squared plus 89 squared equals to C squared. So when we simplify, we have A squared plus 7,921 equals to C squared. When we move A squared to the right hand side, we'll have 7,921 equals to C squared minus A squared. This equation can also be written like this. C squared minus A squared equals to 7,921. Using this identity, the left hand side of the equation will be open bracket C plus A close bracket, open bracket C minus A equals to 7,921. Pay close attention here. Since we have two factors on the left hand side, we are also going to write the right hand side, which is 7,921, as a product of two factors. So 7,921, the products are 1 is 7,921 times 1, the second one is 1 times. 7921 and another one is 89 times 89. Now, if we substitute numbers into this, into C plus A and C minus A, we'll note that C plus A will always be greater than C minus A. So let us check the product of factors that satisfy this condition that C plus A is greater than C minus A. First, for the first one, C plus A equals to 7,921 and C minus A equals to 1. So, C plus A is greater than C minus A. So, this satisfies our condition. Let us check the second one. C plus A equals to 1 and C minus A equals to 7,921. This does not satisfy our condition because C plus A is less than C minus A. For the third one, 89 times 89. So, C plus A here equals to 89, C minus A equals to 89, so they are not equal, C plus A is not equal to C minus A, so this does not satisfy our condition. So we will be using the first condition, which is 7,921 times 1. So let us write that here, C plus A times C minus A equals to 7,921 times 1. So let us write that in this form, C plus A equals to 7,921, and let's call that equation 1. Then C minus A equals to 1. Let us call that equation 2. So we are going to solve these equations simultaneously. So now let us add these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. C plus C will give us 2C. And A plus minus A, that will be 0. So 7,921 plus 1, that will give us 7,922. So when we divide both sides by 2, we have C equals to 3,961. So the value of C here is 3,961. Next, we have to find the value of A. We will substitute C into equation 1 to find the value of A. So 3,961 plus A equals to 7,921. So A will be equal to 7,921 minus 3,961. A equals to 3,960. So the value of A equals to 3,960 and the value of C equals to 3,961. So now we have gotten the values of A and C. So we are going to go ahead and find the perimeter of this right angle triangle. So perimeter will be equal to 3,960 plus 89 plus 3,961. So when we add that up, we'll have 8,080. 10. So the perimeter of this right angle triangle is 8,010.
Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.